Okay, this is crude oil. So let's see first the daily chart. So I think you remember previous, I told that, uh, just a minute, let me. Okay, let me open this one. Okay, cool. So here you can see, uh, I told that here, uh, so here you can see we have seen this is the neckline, right? Previously I told that in my previous video and first target was here. So uh, today you can see market are creating a new higher high and higher low, right? So we are expecting to break this level. So that is why I just placed a, a, a resistance level. So let me, let me, let me remove this one. Let me take it. Uh, okay, it will be good, right? It will be good. Let me keep it here. Now you can see here. So this is a resistance line, right? Have you seen? So this is the resistance line at the level of 4122, right? So if you have any position, so your target will be here around 4122. So in this area, we will close our position and we are looking for next the big uh, break this level, right? If the break this level, so further we will go for buy from above this area, remember, right? So let's see in the four hour chart, if you see here four hour chart. So four hour chart, you, you can see here, uh, just price was just bounced from this 200 moving average around uh, 4,000. It right. So my target was here first, uh, third target, and I closed my position. And later, uh, you can see this was a double bottom pattern, right? Double bottom pattern. Here was a neckline. After breaking this neckline, price just retraced toward this uh, supporting line. So here was resistance line, and then now later they become a resistance line. Uh, sorry, supporting line. So I was looking for enter here by, and the next target was here around 4122. Uh, this is our next target because here we can see this, uh, this is resistance line is showing here and the daily 200 moving average is placing a resistance. So our next target. So if if I wanna connect uh, Fibonacci, so let me draw the Fibonacci line. So I just, I wanna connect this higher point and the lower point. So this is the lower point, have you seen? So that means, according to me, this is a wave, right? This is a retracement of 50 level. So my target, first target already received, uh, and the next target is around 161. So I'll close my position in this zone. So have you seen? This is my uh, exit zone. Have you seen? This is my exit zone. I'll close my position in this area around, uh, I think it will be around uh, 4100, right? 4100, so I don't wanna wait to uh, hit this target. So I'll close my position here, right? So that was my long position. And then now we can see here is showing some supporting line. Here resistance line and the supporting line now become here strong support, right? So have you seen this is a strong support now? This is uh, this is a strong support in this area. So why I'm telling, like here you can see one thirty-eight percent extension of Fibonacci, and the previous this was a supporting point and a raise standpoint, right? Here is a raise standpoint. So now you can see exactly here it's just showing is a uh, resistance. So you can close your position if you have any position here, right? So uh, this is. Uh, large time frame so we can see price are creating higher high and higher low so i am expecting from this zone price will give a correction from this area so i'm looking for a correction right now and then next you can see in a small time frame like 15 minutes right now you can see this is a 15 minute after breaking this resistance line so let me remove this if you want to see right if you want to get let me remove if you want to key. so here we can see this was my supporting like also oh, resistance line in this area and uh, my hackenesi also placing a strong support because i'm using this hackenesi this was my hackenesi for our supporting line have you seen 
So price was just bouncing from that area. So after after reaching this one, so price just pull uh, pull down, and again when they break this level and next targeting toward this level. So that means I'll take only buy when I'll get uh, full back, or you can you can uh, say like that retrace me right. So let's see in small time frame, like a 15 minute. So here you can see this is a 15 minute. So now we have to find out the market behavior, right? What is the market behavior? So for find out the market behavior, you can see first time the price was just bouncing from moving average seven, right? Have you seen prices? So later they just bounced uh, from moving average 20 and there is a big bullish candle. Have you seen? If you want to enter again in this area, so you just start by above this bullish candle, right? Otherwise, if they're not able to break this level, they will retrace to 50%, uh, sorry, uh, 50 moving average. So I'm looking for, here is the Hekane uh, Simoko line. So they are forming a support. When I will get the price in the discount and the sub, uh, above this supporting line, all right? If I get any opportunity near above the supporting line around 4800 and if i'm getting any buy signal above this area so definitely i'll start buying from this area or if you want to enter for the buy so you can buy above this candle right remember so this is our uh, trading strategy so it's called bounce trading strategy right so you can see like that uh first you can see uh, first, uh, we can see uh, after breaking this area, price just bounce, moving average 200, bounce, and uh, this was 200, bounce, 200, bounce, right? So I'm looking for here a retracement again when market 200 moving average will be like that. And you can see and this is a resistance zone was there previously now becoming a support here, right? So when moving average will be here, if price is drop near 4000 so i'll start buying above this one so when i will see some candlestick pattern for bullish candlestick pattern whatever like uh, bullish harami pattern engulfing pattern doji pattern above this resistance line if i'm getting any buy entry or that type of signal definitely i will start buying above this area so i'm looking for for enter for the buy because i close all position here right so i took only i think uh, 30 or 40 point uh, 32 or 33 point i think i remember uh, my target was here and here okay 30 point i think yeah 30 point exactly 30 point because um, i placed my buy order above this candle right uh, when price just the uh, uh, market just opened here and price, uh, this was uh, my bullish candle. So I placed buy order above this bullish candle. I think this candle hit uh, my buy order, just executed. And my target is there and I close my position. And next I'm looking for price just pull back to this area. And when I will see any bullish signal from this area, if I'm not getting any uh, uh, buy signal, so definitely I will not buy right who knows about the market it might reverse from this area so that is why i'm looking for a buy opportunity above this supporting line remember so do you have any query so you can if you have any query you can ask me right okay if you have any questions so you can ask me or if you have any position any script you can ask me so i can uh, definitely i can i'll discuss uh, with you okay mr osuk okay if you want to sort here right so i recommend you don't go against uh, trend right because if you want to like let me let me tell you one thing remember look daily market is bullish right definitely we can go for short but not now where we can go for short if 
if we if we uh, we are getting any cell signal below 4120 remember below that means this resistance line below resistance uh, resistance line if you am getting any cell opportunity so definitely we can go for short but we have seen market is now in bullish right so don't uh, trade uh, don't try to or trade like a don't uh, uh, try to become a counter trader don't be because counter trader means trend is up and strong and you are trying to short here like you are trying to cast the falling knife it's a high risky remember so we have seen this uh, resistance line if below this resistance line if we am getting any cell signal definitely we can go for short like whatever here and below this area uh, if uh, some rsi some super dense some uh, v wave some store stick some uh, mscd if we are getting any cell signal below this area so definitely we can go short but now it's a little more risky so no need to enter uh for the short uh, for the cell direction so always uh, that means uh, what you just opening the uh, you just open that uh, laptop or uh, desktop or whatever if uh, you have so that means that is uh, that means not like that you are going to directly enter in this market so always wait uh, for an opportunity so if you are not getting any opportunity leave it market for that day that is why i always telling you just wait and you find out just like uh, like what i'm telling you right now listen carefully so my target is here like here according to me this is a resistance line right so if i'm getting any sell signal in this uh, below this area so definitely i'll start selling from this area this is my view right another so if i want to buy so i'm looking for price just pull down if price pull down i'll buy so you can see uh, this is our trading range right remember how to trade remember one is 4008 and another 4122 right so let's see in a small time frame for our buy and and uh, buy and sell entry right now it should look like that remember it should look like that let me zoom a little more right now so let me remove uh, this white and confirm so now you can see market is trend is up because we have seen uh, like uh, in four hour they are forming like double bottom and they broke this neckline and targeting to next uh, resistance level so right now market is here right in this point and our resistance are there that means we are never gonna sell right but if we are getting any sell signal below this resistance line like this one 4000 if we are getting a suppose market like that like that like that they've gone reach that area right so now we are uh, we have seen some uh inverted hammer or and some engulfing pattern whatever we have seen any sell signal below this resistance line so we will start selling from this area but now price to trend is up so our target is there right i'm looking for buy above this candle and when price will pull down and i'll get any buy opportunity above this area right if they break this level so i hope it will break this level right so that is where i'm looking for a buy signal above this supporting line and send a sell signal below this resistance line remember in between this area if you want to enter for the small profit so you can buy enter above this area and keep your asset just below here and your target will be there and close your position right so i hope you understand uh, what i'm talking uh, right okay okay so always find out your entry point don't enter blindly anywhere uh, okay remember every uh, what i'm talking always uh, find out your buy and like i already told you where is our buy and 
for the crude oil, for crude oil, right? So our buy, buy and we have seen price pull down and if they're forming any candlestick pattern above this area and similarly, uh, this uh, what call this one percentage are they'll here or they might bounce from this area or they will again recross this area so we are looking for two signal at least for the buy so if you are getting any buy signal above this area so definitely will buy or for the short for the counter trade always if you want to uh, go against the trend always use this find out the resistance level and at least two to three signal you just find out for the cell remember so if you are getting any cell signal below not above remember resistance line below then you just go for cell right i hope mr also you able to understand right so that is why you just find out that thing so and you have or another query do you have okay so if you want to know that candlestick pattern i use this visit to our website so i already wrote uh, many uh candlestick pattern chart pattern you just find out that type of chart pattern because you remember one thing always when price trying to change it uh, their uh, like um trend like similar uh, like uh, let me tell you one thing why i'm looking for the short pattern when uh, like you can see this was a long bearish candle or uh, sorry uh, bearish market right so after that they form a double bottom when they are forming this type of short pattern this confirming that the trend are going to change right this was a long uh bearish really right so after that after forming this candle uh short pattern the trend has changed Right now, trend are um, uh, changed to uh, toward upside, right? So next targeting, first target and next target, right? So if in between this area, if they're forming different type of like uh, it's called head and shoulder pattern, right? Uh, double bottom, sorry, double top or triple top, this type of pattern are they are forming. So when they are forming this type of pattern, it's indicating that trend will change right here you can see uh, they confirm us that downtrend has just uh, finished and uptrend just began from this area right you know uh, similarly their price was just failing and they formed like that double bottom and they broke this area and price is targeting toward this area right so if they break this race uh, raise the line so we are targeting next four four eight that will be our next target because here you can see this was a resistant it's a resistant it's a resistant 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 so we have seen this is a strong resistant right so some people are doing like that uh, this is a wrong concept here price just uh, start falling down and broke this area who people are trying to uh, buy in this area so what happen? you can see continuous price is failing so that, that is why don't try to change the trend you always trade with the trend remember and when they will form this type of pattern so we confirm that the market trend has changed so we'll start buying only not selling right now so you have any query so if you have any query you can ask me okay so i hope you don't have any questions can i finish now okay so i hope you enjoy this video okay thank you